Scott Sikora's voicemail. I was just driving down the road, and I was thinking, you know what? I think tonight's episode, epi- episode, episode, uh, I think we should just talk about when we went to Monsters Ball. You know, I mean, we did a lot of things. We went to Mike Tyson's house, and you punched that tiger. That was pretty crazy. Uh, but, yeah, we can just talk about Monsters Ball and how fantastic of a time we had there. Um, you can tell everybody about the time that, you know, you were you were going to win the goatee category. You can let everybody know how that worked out. I don't know. Just an idea. Um, what are you doing? Once again, you never answer your phone. I had all these great ideas I was going to talk to you about, but no, I just got to leave you a voicemail again, and let me guess, you're going to upload my voicemail and put it on the podcast. Of course you will, because that's what you do, because your name's Scott Secor, and you do whatever you want. Uh, Yeah, so if that's what you're going to do, hey, podcast people, apparently my voicemail is a part of the podcast now. Okay, um, I'm turning right. That's about it. Everybody enjoy the podcast. Okay, bye! Welcome to the Talking Beards Podcast, an entertainment news show all about the world of facial hair. You can catch the show live every Tuesday night at 8 p.m. Eastern by going to TalkingBeards.com. While you're at the website, you can check out all the other cool things that we do. We cover the latest news going on in the beard and mustache world from competitions, contests, fundraisers, and all the charity work. We also have special guests each week talking about what they're doing to make a difference in the facial hair world. We also do trivia each week with really great prizes, compliments of Honest Amish. So make sure you tune in every Tuesday night, 8 p.m. at TalkingBeards.com. Now let's get on with the show. Aaron, I can't believe you're not even following the rules. I I did it. You did not. I, you I broke the rules. It it was just a suggestion to wait till 30 more seconds. I wasn't I uh, I'm impatient. You're a patient. What are you sick? You at the hospital right now? Yeah, I'm sick. <laughs> that was me being sick. <laughs> Andrew Matson said we did it. So no, we didn't. Andrew we did. I, I mean, anything. I did it. I I clicked the little thing, and it was like, yeah, congratulations. Look, what? you did say you did it. I told you. He said he did it. You don't know me. You don't listen to me. Oh, my name's Matt. I'm talking on the phone right now. I'm so oh, cool. Oh my god, I'm on my cell phone. Hey, I'm just so proud of taking care of I'm business. So cool. Oh, yeah. my mustache. Ooh, check me out. Me. Oh, look, I curled my mustache. Ooh, look at me. Ooh. Oh, yeah, no, these guys are just making fun of me. It's fun. I'm just looking at my mustache. Oh, good. oh DG's like, oh, hey. Oh, hey. Oh, hey. Can we go live? Oh, right? hey. Jeez. <laughs> we did it. Oh, oh, hey. Oh, at, you just Scott made- was not ready at all. So, yeah, um, we're here. This is going to be episode number 93 of Talking Beards on the live show. This is episode number 167, most likely, on the podcast. Um, yeah, so tonight uh, we, we were going to talk to uh, the world famous Brett Strauss, but he is on a remote location without internet. It hasn't been invented where uh, bread is. So we're just winging it tonight. So we're, uh, we're going to talk about our trip to monsters ball this last past weekend. So yeah, we'll just get started. I'm uh, Aaron D Johnston. Uh, You can find me here over here and uh, yeah, I'm on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, stuff like that. TikTok. Don't forget about TikTok. I made one this last weekend. So I was in it. This is the first one I was in. Scott Sakura made a special appearance in my TikTok. So this is basically going to be the most successful TikTok ever. It's just off to a really, really, slow really start. slow start. But it, it's going to pick up steam probably tonight, I feel. It's going to go from 900 to 900,000 instantly. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, we've got some 
breaking news and some uh what what we call it something else we have some more news that's already been broke but oh. we're gonna break it again broken tonight news. yeah so yeah tonight should uh i don't know we're gonna do it so who are you go ahead i'm scott sakor you can find me on facebook and or instagram i'm also on the twitters uh but like i said oh look angela's here she says good, good evening, evening. It, do it natalie do it No, okay. She was she was she, putting. She's a eating in her Cheetos. Mouth. <laughs> <laughs> we have a, a Jeff Kirkby's. Jeff Kirkby's oh. here. He hasn't been here. Oh, in a while. Hi. Good to see you. Howdy. Um, it must be in Texas. Oh, look at this. This is that's the joke. What does a gay horse say? Oh, hey. hey. Hence why I got my three star review on iTunes. Yeah, good job, Scott. Yeah. So uh, anyways, you can go find out more information about us by going to talkingbeards.com. There you can watch the show live every Tuesday night at 8 p.m. Eastern. Uh, you can also check out the podcast, uh, which here's a funny one for y'all. This is, this is so great. Oh, everyone's so, going to laugh. I know they are. Um, so I spent all evening last night because I'm now after this one, I'll be four episodes behind on the podcast. Just four and been- a half. Well, uh, three and a half. That's um, what I meant. But uh, yeah, so I spent the evening working on getting this thing done, and I I got the file, I dropped it in there, I put everything all together, made sure everything sounded good, uploaded it, got up this morning, tons of downloads, and then I was listening to it today, and I'm like, wait a minute, this isn't the right episode. <laughs> and so I was like, oh, geez, I already released this one like uh, five episodes ago. <laughs> So yeah, eight, five episode 80, episodes ago. It was like episode eighty-seven. <laughs> Holy crap! I didn't realize. I, I was just thinking it was like. Oh like, no! I take that back. It was yeah, five five up or. Th- <laughs> yeah, dude. I got two. I got too many like little lists of numbers and things like on my desk in front of me, and so I thought it said it said Scott and Aaron discussed the world, and I was thinking, oh, discussing worlds. So I was just like, oh, I put the wrong file in there. So it's a uh was well, a rerun of a podcast that's up right now. Yeah. Kinda. Paul Griffin said best near fist fight I've seen on stage at Monster Ball. Lol. <sighs> oh man, we're gonna get into how disrespectful you were at Monsters Ball. Yeah, we are. We almost fist fought. It was awesome. People were like, oh no. What's going on? Like that. Kenny, Kenny Wright says, love this product. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'm sure he's probably over on the Honest Amish Facebook page due to the fact that there's six people over there right now. Thank you, Kenny. Uh, it's pretty much the world's greatest beard product, I do believe. I'm going to say, I'm going to go out on a limb, Aaron, and I'm going to say Honest Amish is the right product for Kenny Wright. Oh, yeah. Say. Kenny Wright has found the right product for him. Hey, you know, this so is, this is great. This is great. So yeah. Uh, anyways, anyways. Uh, so yeah, we have a lot to talk about tonight. Um, no guest. Uh, Brett's out. Uh, actually, part of why Brett wasn't here is we were supposed to be unveiling this new feature with the FHL uh, app that Aaron and I kind of uh, helped him work out. That's going to help with online beard competitions and uh, the technology. A little bit in person as well. Yeah. It's going to, you know, help the the registration process. Yeah. So anyways, uh, we were supposed to be doing some live testing. So make sure everyone uh, keeps their eyes peeled for the episode when Brett's on, because we're actually going to do a fun, uh, like a beta test on the show of a fake beard competition, just to see who wants to participate and how it works. Oh, I forgot to tell you this. Whoops. Your eyes got all big there, Aaron. Oh, I was talking, I was just thinking about peeling my eyes and how much that was going to hurt. Look at this guy. We, Brad, Brad. this is Felipe El Taco Gonzalez. We saw him live on screen this last weekend, two times. He was so big. He was like gigantic in the room. And he had some, uh, it was, he was in a very sexual position. Let's just put it that way. So yeah. yeah. Um, this so is the moment. This is the point in the show where we tell everybody that they should share this episode. Speaking of 
Felipe El Taco. He might be behind, be behind Cher right now. The, yeah, see, I was. No, I mean, if if Cher wasn't on that screen, I bet Scott's finger would be going in the Felipe El Taco's nose. Yeah, but, and you know, if we actually had a good designer guy, he would have had our two fingers touching each other. Do you see that? Oh, that's so we close. Been, like, but y'all are just pointing at each other. We could be I like think our designer guy does a fine job. He does, but we could have been like E.T. and Elliot. E.T. Ouch. Like Ouch. Yeah, so everybody, share this episode. Share it everywhere. And yeah, so everybody can pay attention and watch all the things that you watch. And guess what else? We oh, did. hey. Oh. We did, Brad. What's up, Matt? <laughs> What's up? Why was Cher <laughs> laughing and, and, and pointing at Scott's bald head? Uh, because nice. he didn't have any pants on. Oh, oh she was like, ah, that's not wearing any pants. That wasn't okay. the bald head I was talking about. See, I, see. <laughs> I bet he tried to make it happen, but it wouldn't work. Hey, Facebook user. Hey, it's Tom. I'm from MySpace. What's up, Tom from MySpace? What's up, Tom? <laughs> yeah. it's been a while since we've seen your picture. What is going on? Matt McClear, how are you doing tonight, sir? I'm good. I'm good. Just another lovely uh, pizza taco Tuesday. So I had a pizza taco today. Oh, today no. too? Wow. I should have took a picture of it and sent it to you. So uh, yeah, I took a Totino's pizza, one of those little square ones, and I cut it into strips. Smart. And then I put it on a tortilla shell with my sriracha sauce and cheese. You know what Boom. I had on a tortilla pizza shell taco. today? What? What did you eat on a tortilla shell today? Ramen noodle soup. How was it? It was better because then you don't have to deal with all the noodles and, and the drippage from the broth. It was really good. Surprisingly. The least you could do is eat ramen soup on a taco shell. Yeah. Everything's better or just as good on a, ta- on a tortilla shell. Way better. And then uh, yesterday for breakfast, I had Lucky Charms and milk on a tortilla shell. I eat eggs oh. on tortilla shells every day. Oh, yeah. Same. So many yep. Great people that are in here tonight. We have Summer just popped in. Barefoot's here. Uh, Dwayne just popped in. Uh, Dwayne the Rock Johnson. Yes, Dwayne the Rock Johnson. He's best friends with MJ. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Uh-oh. Hashtag take out your garbage, Kenny Parbell. Take out your garbage, Kenny Parbell. Welcome back. Oh my gosh, Stephen Meredith is here too. What is going on tonight? There's so many, so many people in here tonight. This is great. Well, uh, we almost have someone in all of our. Uh, our locations tonight. So, um, it's all about location, 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 Aaron. So, breaking news a little bit tonight. We are live on our Twitter page for the first time in like two years. Wow. So, yeah, um, we're streaming to Periscope and yeah, I think it goes to our Twitter. I have no idea where it goes, but uh, yeah, I was thinking about it the other day. I'm like, I made a Periscope page for Talking Beards when we got this whole thing started. And we literally, so I, I figured it out last night and I logged into it. We went to it for a total of 15 minutes two years ago. So okay. yeah, so we're going to it tonight. So we'll, we'll see where that goes. It's probably going to take us to like, new new heights and locations and it's going to be pretty much the biggest thing on the internet now that we are live on periscope and it goes to our twitter i think i don't know but yeah, i was wondering how oh, that works too. but nobody's watching it so mm. Stu eggers is here no. oh my we've made it like wow. we made it you guys might as well end the show right now you guys basically you can't get any can't, better we can't get any better. His uh his beard is 29 inches long. And and he's cut like 6 inches of it off since last November. That's wild. Something like that. Look at this. He cut 10 inches of it off since last November. And he's so, still at 29. He's at 29 inches. Like when he cuts it off it like grows back overnight. It's the craziest thing, but yeah. Why? You're spreading false news there, Aaron. His beard is as long as Natalie is tall. <laughs> it's pretty amazing wow. and oh also not i don't know if i told anybody this but when i was at monsters ball this last weekend Are someone you? called me Stu eggers and i was like i didn't correct him i was just like <laughs> sounds good well and then someone called in natalie that's exactly what natalie just said they they talked to in they're like Are, 
are you Natalie? And then <laughs> someone and, called Andrew Scott. They did. Yeah. There was, oh. It was, everybody was super confused. It was the first like, you know, live in person beer competition in like 47 days or wait, that was not exaggerate 47 months. And, uh, somebody yeah, spiked so a punch. Every, I think everybody was super confused about who each other was. So yeah. yeah. Andrew and Scott are the same person and Karen and Natalie are the same person and me Ooh. and Stu Eggers are the same people. Look at this. Ruse watching what? Twitter. We have one person on our Twitter. What's it look like over there? Andrew? Dustin wanted to tell us how guy how you guys are amazing. You he's talking to you two guys. Oh, look at this. This is a good one. Scott tried beating Aaron this weekend. Oh no. He tried. You remember that time that like you were talking trash and you thought you were gonna beat me? That All was right. Isn't it time for news or something. Oh well, I thought we had Matt to like eight thirty. God, I'm I'm ready yeah. to get into this freaking weekend. Okay. Romantic Michelle is here. Wow, wow. Yeah. what is going- this? Is amazing. Like I have so to be many- honest. I couldn't I couldn't vote for for you guys because I didn't want to like have any tension on the show, and I knew if I voted for one and not the other, so. I, 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 voted I appreciate you voting for me, Matt. I remember that when you texted me and you were said that this is what you're going to say, but you're yeah. like, I'm really going to vote for you. I appreciate it. Yeah, but you it. weren't supposed to say that part. Hey, tell Jonathan you love him, oh, too. I, I love you, Jonathan. I love you, Jonathan. All Thank right, you. Matt McClear. Uh, what kind of news are you bringing to the table tonight? Well, we got some pretty exciting no- news. I know that everybody was pretty, you know, like on the fence and, and on the edge of their seat waiting for the last week's video Well, from Target what happened. So I found some footage that I couldn't remember to send the link and I lost it. But the footage, more or less, the people from Target. So if anybody didn't know, last week, a crazy fiance busted into her uh, fiance's work from Target and demanded that you marry me right now or it's done. Well, apparently he's like, let's go outside and talk about it. And he did this whole like, well, you know, if it's going to come down to this, I guess. uh, And you were like, oh, he's going to break up with her. What a smart dude. And then he was like, let's get married. Let's just do it. What an idiot. So So I married. are so they I already got married? Uh, probably. Yeah, probably. Yeah, probably. I don't know. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, that was last week's episode. And um, what else we have? Yeah. So good luck to you. You're probably going to need it, dude. But uh, many other people, whether it's on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, Twitter, they take pictures using a mirror. Some in the bathroom, some in the bedroom. But uh, some people have gotten really good at using this technique and others become kind of viral for how poorly they do it. Unfortunately, I'm I'm pretty much the best at it. Yeah, I see your TikToks. You're getting much better. You got to do more in the bathroom, not the garage, though. That's the secret, they say. Apparently. Why is the bathroom more popular than the garage? That makes zero sense. More people spend more time in a bathroom than the garage. I got a new shower curtain. Maybe I should show that bad boy off. I think you should. It's a magical unicorn. Oh, TikTok <laughs> would love it. TikTok I'm, would love I'm, it. I'm going to do it. So, uh, yeah, do it. Unfortunately, Connie White from Scotland, her photo went viral for the not so good kind. The 22 year old posed for a photo wearing a red dress standing in front of a mirror uh, at her flat. But before she put it on Instagram, she apparently didn't look at it. So it's just another day, just another picture, right? Well, 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 wrong, because many people saw this picture and many people commented on this picture, noticing that something seemed a little bit off. So maybe you could, you know, show the picture and see if see if you guys see anything that looks a little bit off. I'm looking at it and I'm not seeing anything. Scroll down. Open the picture. Yeah, the picture should be a full size picture right here. (laughs) This one. Yeah. Yeah. I see. What is it? What, um, well, what it appears to be is one thing. What it actually is is um, a reflection of her, the back of her ankle and foot in between her legs, and it resembles something much different. Uh, oh. I think it actually enhances the picture a little bit later. But that's just an unfortunate uh, angle and just a bad picture. Really nice mirror. Look at the size of that thing. That looks expensive, right? You talking? Yeah, about that's right? a that's a big giant mirror. Yeah, and that's uh, that's just a reflection. Clearly, you can see the heel, you can see the back of the leg, but it does resemble something else. Keep so. scrolling. <laughs> so, uh, just a reminder to anybody that is taking pictures, uh, you know, remember to look at your pictures carefully, or you could end up as the next meme or story on the talking beard. 
And, uh, you know, anybody that's wondering, that's just listening onto the podcast, head on over to Facebook.com and you can see the picture for yourself in other news or YouTube or uh, or or Twitter. No. And all yeah, the other millions of pages that they're we're on. We're huge on Twitter. Pretty big a, on Twitter. We had a, a viewer earlier, but they're gone now. They're gone. <laughs> so in other news, two former Oklahoma jail employees and their supervisor face misdemeanor cruelty charges after investigators found that they forced inmates to stand handcuffed for hours and listen to the children's song, Baby Shark, on repeat. Baby Shark, do, 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 baby yep. shark, do, that one. Do, do, do. Yeah, that's the one. And now everybody's going to have that annoying song stuck in their head. But at least four inmates were secured to a wall with their hands cuffed behind them while the song played on loop at a loud volume for several hours. That's you know, terrible. The only worse thing than having to listen to that would be having to listen to Aaron MC a beard competition live. I mean, wow. oh, I didn't mean that. I meant, I meant, oh, hey, congratulations because you've been named, I've seen, as an MC of a major competition. All right. Well, I mean, we we were gonna keep Matt around for a while tonight, but I said all kidding aside, and then you know, I was about to be sincere, and then you know I always take jabs at Scott, and I finally had a setup for him for for Aaron, and but I yeah, like congr- all kidding I aside, like that one bit. All kidding aside, congrats. That's a that's a cool honor, and uh, thanks, buddy. I'm you're, uh, you're, you're gonna do a great job. They picked the right man for the job. I don't know. Did they? <laughs> I'm I super nervous so. about it. I have yeah. no idea what I'm doing. So we'll uh we'll we'll go for it. I don't know. Yeah. Just like this episode. You don't really know what you're doing, but it's gonna be one of the best. Yeah, but I have Scott here to bail me out when I just start rambling. Oh I'm now you be... do. Why don't you why don't you tell him what happened last weekend when he was there with you, huh? Because that's all I got for beard news, so you guys might as well get into the I got some breaking beard news. You ready? Go ahead. You ready, Matt? I'm ready. Oh, he did it. Original poop knife.com. Look at, we all have one now. Uh Oh, Oh, what happened to your picture, Aaron? Wow. You don't look good. Your beard looks in shambles. Should I hand it to you, Aaron? Yeah. Camera two. To me. I don't know. How many different camera angles (laughs) do you have? I don't know what's happening. This is oh my god! I uh-huh. knew this, was- this is fun. Can we go big screen and watch him suffer? <laughs> yes, let's do it quick. Oh, and we'll narrate it. Oh my gosh! So what's I going knew- on, Aaron? Uh, Welcome back to 1990s film. I'm your star. Well, this is a cool angle. We don't get to see much. I know. Everything looks really crystal clear. It does and it's cool to see you know the 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 different posters that aren't in the background and oh yeah, I can see cool. the poop knife hat. Did you guys see the poop knife hat? <laughs> uh, I did. Oh, I saw man. the poop knife hat. See, yeah. I see it again. I see it. It's over there. It's over there. I see it. Yeah, this camera's so good. It is. We got wow. Landers I in the house this was now. gonna happen. Hey, we did it. We're back. You did good it. Gosh. Yeah. Well, wow, he was so excited to show off the poop knife and do the magic trick. He did it. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was trying trick. to do. Hand me the poop knife, Scott. Oh, hold on. This is this the poop knife you want? Yeah. Ready? <gasps> we did it. Wow, that was good, guys. It was. Oh, now I'm going to hand it down to you, Matt. Oh, okay. This is cool. <laughs> other hand. You got it. All right, this way. Other way. Other way. Uh, right here. Yeah. Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> yeah, I got really, now I gotta pass it over over here. Yeah, pass it okay. to you, Scott. Are you ready? Go, oh, go over, over. Okay. Oh, oh, we did it. We did it. We got it all around. They call that around the horn in baseball. We did. Oh man, Woo. who We're needs to watch much. one of the World Series? Just stay tuned to facebook.com slash talking beards for that was all the your- amazing thing ever. That was. And the, the most amazing part is poop knife. They're they're just like they're living. They're living the sponsors. And I even throw one right here. I, we're we're going to have to have a talk with the original oh, poop I, knife. Oh, here, let me, let me get to my poop knife that's in the corner over here. Oh, let's just move this out of the way here. Hold on. Shut <sighs> up. Let me get to this poop knife. There's this poop knife. Um, just to let you know, oh, see, Angela's not, I don't there think we go. See, I had this poop knife hanging on the wall over here. I don't think yeah. she's saying wow because of your skateboard deck. I think she like really liked our trick. Yeah, See, as Jake says, he's like poop knife magic. Oh, I guess I'll just put this back over on the wall where it was, real, real, real quick. Push. Push. 
Guys, I got nothing but more poop knives to show off. <laughs> <laughs> you have this one? No, because I, I I judged that year and I made sure you got that one. No, you didn't. Yeah, I did. I beat you. I was judging. <laughs> How did you beat me? I wasn't even in the competition. I judge you all the time. Yeah, whatever. So, yeah, let's get into it. So, we went to um, Monsters Ball in, I thought it was Sharon, PA, but it was in Pulaski or something like that. Anyway. Pulaski. Yeah, we were we were in uh, Sharon, Pennsylvania adjacent uh, this past weekend at the Mad Viking Beard and Mustache uh, Company Warehouse and Factory. Anyway, so yeah, we, we went to that competition and it was amazing. So basically at the end of the day, I beat Scott. That's pretty much the moral of the entire story. But on the way to Monsters Ball, uh, if you would go over to my TikTok, you will see we went to Mike Tyson's house. I saw so yeah. what he abandoned this house, what, like 10 years ago? Longer than that, I think. Yeah. So obviously Mike Tyson, he was a super famous and rich boxer, and he enjoyed spending his money. So he was buying houses left and right all over the all over the world. And he bought like a 19,000 square foot house in the middle of effing nowhere, Ohio. And a uh, huge fence around it, dude. It's like you just you're out in the middle of Amish country, and then there's literally what looks to be like a hospital or like a large <laughs> school. But it was a house. <laughs> it was how many tigers crazy. you think he had there? 47. He was Carol the original Bastion tiger. King. All. He's did you know he's coming back to box? Yeah, dude, he's like 55. Do you see how good he still looks? Yeah, he looks amazing. There's I would no way that's all natural. Yeah, I would not want to take a punch by that dude. You no, but it's a charity to... event, so I don't think he has to test for steroids or anything, right? <laughs> There's a uh, if you not. check like about a month ago, maybe a month and a half ago, Rogan interviewed Tyson. That's how I heard about the fight, and he talked about like getting ready for it and stuff. It's, it's a very interesting episode and very interesting about how he's you know, been training for this and how different it has been for him and how he's been using technology to like, kind of uh, like the hyperbolic chambers and using like, there was this weird machine that he was throwing at too. It was wild. Yeah. So well, it was really interesting, but yeah, Tyson lived there. I don't know for how long, but yeah. So Don King actually has a training camp. That's not far from there. Once again, that's also in the middle of nowhere, and it's just a series of buildings, like in a field, like probably just boxing rings and like gyms and stuff like that. Yeah, so, Scott was telling us a story. He'd be like driving down the road, and this was like literally out in the middle of Amish country, middle of nowhere. And then all of a sudden, you would just see a giant ass dude jogging down the side of the road, and yeah, like a hoodie and sweatpants. It's like this guy doesn't belong out here at all, and he's just yeah. out in the country, just jogging away. It and was Rocky. Horse and buggy. <laughs> Follow Creek. Are you creep. a whore? Mm-hmm. Negative one point, Scott. Good job. Gosh. <laughs> yeah, so we, we also, on the way to uh, Mad Vikings Monster Ball, we recorded for probably like 20 or 30 minutes of maybe an episode of the Beardcaster or something that will get released. I don't know. We were recording. <laughs> yeah, we were, I, and Scott I don't know can if, find it. Breaking news! <laughs> like, how many negative points is that? That's uh, negative a thousand. What do you mean you can't find it? I went to go like listen to it, and it's like there's no sound there. Oh my! Did you plug into the wrong mic? No, I did not. You remember that one time? Yes, that I you, do remember you that one. Did time. like an amazing amount of recording and you were plugged into like the, the headphone jack instead of the mic jack or something yep. like that. Yep. Yeah. That was good times. Yeah. Was I was, cool. yeah, you know, it happens. It happens to the best of us. Yeah. Anyway. So, uh, yeah, we, we, uh, we were together this last weekend. It was pretty crazy. It's the first time since December that, uh, Scott Sakura. Uh, Scott C. Sakura and uh, Aaron D. Johnston were in the same location. It was didn't seem like it. Like it was. It's it's so weird because we see each other 
all the time and we constantly talk that it doesn't feel like it was like December since I saw you. I don't yeah, know. No, it's okay. weird. It's it's a it's a strange feeling doing like this all the time and then not seeing you for a long time. It's like I don't know. It's weird. It's hard to explain. Anyway, so how long was the hug? <laughs> how long? Yeah. Like we're still hugging. That's good. Yeah. We could not stop. <laughs> and then and then Matt wasn't allowed to leave the state, so that was that I was know bad. a day before. I was going to surprise and be like, hey, where do I go when I hit Pennsylvania? And they were like, nah, you you can't go to this state. Yeah, you're you're definitely not going to Pennsylvania. That's why you don't tell people what you're doing. I know, but when you're kind of on the internet for stuff, all the people, there's thousands and thousands of people watching the show right now, and they'd be like, see, I knew he was in Ohio. And then, You're like, you could have wore glasses, and no nobody would have known who you are. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Almost. So yeah, we'll we'll uh, continue that. So uh, Friday night we went to the pre party for a Uno Momento, and then uh, <laughs> shut up, Shannon. Um, yeah, and then Friday and then Saturday night we went to the comp, and dude, it was awesome, man. Like we we went, we got there super early. That's good because it was supposed to start at like four, and it was started promptly at six. So that was pretty pretty good. Um, but you know, we were all hanging out. It's fine. Jarts, man. You guys get it close to the ring. I, yeah. I just it. like darts. No, jarts. Sharts. 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 Oh, baby sharts. Do, 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 do. Baby sharts. Our new theme song. I'm talking. I'm pretty, I'm pretty good at sharts. Like I like, I hit the, hit the spot every single time. That's gross. And then Natalie has to clean your underwears. Natalie doesn't clean my underwears. He has adult money. He can buy new ones. Yeah, that's right. I have adult money. I just because you got to use the underwear, underwear. To, for the toilet paper, so you got to use the rest of it anyways. And then there's nothing. What were we doing? What's going on? Anyway, so uh, someone said something about me cheering on the chops people. That was f- false. I yeah. remember seeing the chops people up there. False news. What All right. Well, we're at a we're at a little bit of a breaking point in your story. I'm gonna I'm gonna jump out. See you, Matt. And uh, and do some triple T. All right, have fun and uh, Tonight. have a good show. Thanks, guys. Have a good rest of your show. Okay, bye. Okay, goodbye. Yeah, Patrick Cran's whites here. Look at we got. There's so many people that are in here uh, that were at Monsters Ball, dude. It was it was just an amazing time, like seeing everybody and like some a bunch of people like we had been interviewing. Like Romantic Justin was there, and then Crayons was there, and was it was there. cool, man. And a lot of people that participated and helped out in you know, a competition like Israel and, and Wayne Patmore, his uh, long, drawn-out speech to all the judges. He only said it once. I think he, he wised up due to the fact that there's like 47 judges. He didn't want to continue his speech every single time. But, yeah, man, it, it, was, a, it was a really good time. Yeah, and, and there uh, was a lot of different clubs represented. There was tons of guys from uh, – uh, there were some beard mob guys there. There was uh mad Viking guys. There was uh bearded villains there. Um, there was some sinners there. Uh, lots of different guys from different clubs there. So it was really cool. Triple T that's uh TikTok, TikTok Tuesday. Tuesday. That's uh Matt's Tuesday night show over on beard laws. So once this is over, you can go over to beard laws, Facebook page or YouTube and check them out. And yeah, so that's going on. What was this? They raised a crap load of money as well. Do we know? Do we have a number? I don't have a number. Over 20,000. Wow. That's what I heard. Yeah, apparently I was I was front row enjoying stupid chops. False. I was standing next to you. I remember when uh, Kranz was up there like scaring me. Because he was That's, screaming at everyone. He's a whaler, though. That wasn't even Chops. Oh, yeah, you're right. I don't even watch Chops. I remember talking to the whalers backstage and was like, good luck, guys. Just think, at least you're not Chops. That's and they were right. like, "That's 
that's pretty pretty profound. And then they so, were excited. Yeah, have you noticed the ratio to like, you know, it seems like the goatee categories are starting to get a lot more fuller and like the chops categories going down. It's because really? everyone's getting wise to the fact that uh goatees are the 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 most important and prestigious category in all of bearding. So everybody wants to be a goatee now. This is great. What? How was how was your weekend, Scott Sakura? What did you? It do? was great. Well, first of all, um, it was wonderful to see you, Natalie, and uh, Andrew. Um, you guys all came in Thursday night. Um, and then, uh, pretty much got home from work on Friday, and you guys are coming. Like, come on, we're going, we're going. So, like, throw me into the car, and uh, we were on our way to uh, go check out. Oh, we also stopped and saw something else that was world famous as well. What Don't you remember the McDonald's? Oh yeah, Friday night. Yeah, we went to the world's most famous McDonald's. It has a piano in it, and it's yeah, and piano. it's like you go to all those travel shows, and they're like, "All right, we're gonna go to the best McDonald's on the uh, travel network," and then dude, they go. No, we're not saying that to you. No, we're absolutely not saying that, Stu. You look great with a full beard. You should stay there. Thank you. Yeah, Brian Tyler says, Goat tees are the most important and prestigious categories. Except for Stu. Yeah. Yeah. Phil Allen's like, Goat tees rule the world. Stu, you should go Whaler. I think that's a really good idea. You should definitely do that. Yeah. If anything. Or actually, you should go Chops. Don't do that to him. Stu's Stu's too cool for that. Don't oh, don't okay. put him in the tops category. Oh. But Whaler, that do that. See, uh, Patrick is already like making excuses. He's like he's just bringing the party to a Whaler for a minute. So, we, you know, we know it was just a, a temporary thing anyway. So, well, you look really good as a Whaler. I like it, Patrick. Waller, um, we can ban you real quick just to let you know. Yeah, Waller, you shut your mouth. No. Yeah. So yeah, but no, it was it was a lot of fun. Um, you know, j- just even riding in the car with everyone, like it just kind of felt like it was kind of surreal just to be like out and seeing everyone and it just feeling like a normal kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, it was also awesome to see in Kara. It was who, the first time since I think like February that we had seen her, maybe March, but I don't know. It was weird. It is. I don't know. It it was really strange. Like I've gone to a few beer competitions this year, but it's like it's been really local stuff. And Natalie and I have just kind of traveled to it. But this was the first one that we went to that seemed normal. Like there was everybody. You know, all the the usual suspects were there and whatnot. And it just. I don't know. It was cool. It was nice. Yeah. But yeah. What else? What else happened, Scott oh, Secor? There's just a lot of comments coming in. So I'm trying tons to- of comments. So yeah, um, Monsters Ball. Um, tons, tons of good people. We had uh, a lot of photo shoots this weekend. That was that was pretty fun. They had the the famous Mad Viking couch was there, and everybody was posing on it. That was that was a good time. Uh, I don't know. We we commandeered a table. I think that's the right word. So yeah. We uh we made a talking beards table and threw all of our flyers and stickers and buttons and some honest Amish stuff in uh, the box and we were gonna go live for a little bit but the uh, internet connection was extremely terrible to say the least there so nobody was playing on on their phones and that was that was pretty nice only thing I used mine for was taking pictures and then my battery died um, yeah we uh um well romantic Justin grew a mustache real quick there. Oh, we also got to see DG too. DG was there for like 14 minutes. So that was that was pretty cool. We like DG. She is a what the what the kids call a delight. A delight. Yes. That's she's not from England. She can't be a good egg. Only good eggs are from England. Yeah. Where are bad eggs from then? Uh Chardon, Ohio. Hey, speaking of Chardon, Ohio. Did you ever uh, find that guy's guitar picks and bass chords? No, but you can tell that story, though, because that is pretty funny. It was pretty funny. I don't. 
Oh, we got jokes too. Um, yeah. So <laughs> was it Friday? Scott was at work and we we're just hanging out waiting for him to get off work. And someone, you know, came knocking on the door and I just assumed it was like one of Scott's friends cause his vehicle was in the driveway and he had left, you know, to go to work and company truck. And, uh, so I'm like, Oh, it must be one of his friends or whatever. And I opened the door and it was just this, we'll say crazy, uh, crazy eyed lady. Yeah. She, uh, she had a lot of stuff to say and she was telling us about how her friend used to live here, but he doesn't live here anymore. And he ordered these guitar picks and his uh, bass strings. And, and if it went, went to, you know, an address, a, 305 and she was going around town to all the 305s and someone's bound to have these strings and then she was just going on and on and on and on and on about it and then she was like oh i, I just i just i gotta know how, how long's your beard and then proceeded to tell her how long my beard was and then she was like wow well my boyfriend has has a beard for a year and it's like this long and and oh man blah 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 i'm like all right well I don't live here. So if I see your strings, I'll let you know. And then I shut the door and she was still talking, even though the door was shut and she was, I don't know. Pretty wild up there in Chardon, Ohio. So she left us a note with her address and phone number. And she wrote like everything about everything. And so He's I put it on the show right now. Aaron. I put it on Scott's refrigerator. <laughs> the end. Yes, Kirkby says crazy has no zip code. Crazy has no zip code. Corey's like, sounds like Ohio. Oh, 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 oh I'm in Ohio. <sighs> what else happened? Um, um, oh, you remember that time that you were talking trash and you thought you were going to beat me? Yeah, that, that happened. Got st- that was probably true. Yes. Yeah. So my whole goal this weekend was I was going to beat Aaron. And in fact, after we went on Friday night, and we saw some of the goatees that were there. We were in the car and I said, you know what? I have I have no confidence just because of the people that I saw there that any three of us between Andrew, myself, or Aaron were going to even place in the top three. And the goatee so, category was extremely stacked up there. Yeah, it was it was some of the best group of guys that we've gone against in like a long time. So it was it was really cool. But uh, I, yeah, I had no confidence whatsoever, um, and you know, and then Andrew was just kind of like last second, like, well, you know what, I'm just gonna do freestyle partial beard. So smart because he won that his category. Yeah, he did. So yeah, as uh, you know, we were we were getting up on stage there, and you know, going through. Um, Aaron was talking shit about him. He grabbed the mic and then he was just like, Oh, Scott, blah, blah, blah. And he's like, ah, I'm going to blah, blah. And then, so then I had to try to, I think I said something to the effect of, I was the better hat, better looking half of talking beards. And then that's, everybody in the audience no. was like, yes, no, you're way better looking than Scott Sakura. And then Natalie D Johnson jumped up there and was like, Hey y'all, I'm the best looking person talking beards. And then like the crowd just went berserk because, you know, it's Natalie and everybody loves her. So it was like, Scott and Aaron are stupid. Yay, yeah. Natalie. Woo, like that. And then you should have seen and Kara was like throwing stuff at us. And so mm-hmm. she's like, get off the stage, you mother effers. And she's like, yeah, throwing cups at us. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And oh, my Lord, it was crazy. And, you know, so then we had to get escorted off the stage. So we didn't think that at the end of the night that we were going to be called up for the top three. And uh, who you know, had a mouse in your pocket? No, I had a frog though. Oh, I same always thing. carry a frog in my pocket. Okay, go ahead. So we all get called up on stage. You, myself, and Brian Tyler. Which once again, I he has such a magnificent goatee. It's Brian just, Tyler's in here. I know. He's Look at right this. Here. He wants a hug on her. I don't know what Look. that means. I'm in the best group of guys, group of guys. I like this. That's pretty smart. Uh, but yeah, so I was like, I was, I was so positively sure that Brian had me beat. And, but I still was talking shit to Aaron. Cause I'm like, I'm going to beat. I kept, I kept telling him, man, this is, then this is the truth. If I can beat Aaron, I will retire and I will no longer compete. Which made me glad that I beat you because you don't need to retire. Yeah, I do. Nope. I don't. 
I don't, there's not much more I feel like I need to accomplish other than I would have definitely beat you over in uh, England for sure. This will find out August 2021 in Rugby England for the British Beard and Mustache Championships. Yeah, but I'm still going to beat you at that one. No, you're I not. Care. I'm, not. Overseas, I'm going to be, yeah, whatever. It's a different it's it's a different game over there that is for sure and and honestly if you beat me over there I would not be surprised because I think like the more european style uh judging goes more for the smaller you know goatee so your yours is definitely smaller than mine uh-huh. so you you would probably win because yours is so small Well you're welcome Brian we have we are very you we are very glad to have guys like you uh being representing the goatee. Um, Absolutely. I mean, it's, it, it's been like, uh, it, it felt like over the past, like eight years of me being involved in it, it's been like a real struggle to get like more guys involved. And then now it's like, even seeing all these guys that were up on stage on Saturday, there's a lot of like really good goatees out there. And if they stick with it, they're going to be really big contenders someday. Absolutely. Every one of those guys. Yeah. Every time I see Brian, it's like his goatee just gets better and better looking every time. Yeah. So it was down to me and Aaron and they call, they call Aaron as the winner and I got mad. And I yeah, so there's, there's a little backstory to that. Like, no, there's not. just like, just like Scott said, he's been talking trash this whole time and everybody knows Scott and I know each other very well. And, uh, yeah. So, so they announced me as the winner and Scott like flips me off and then I wave at him and then we get our trophies and then we, we hug and then Scott tried to kiss me, but then he realized I wasn't Dwayne. So then he didn't kiss me. And then, <laughs> uh, then we took our picture and stuff and then we got off stage and then, and was it at that moment that that person pulled you to the side and talked to you or was it a little bit yeah. later? Someone pulled me to the side and said, boy, dude, you are super disrespectful. And I just kind of like looked at him like. Like we were playing around with each other on stage a lot, like the whole build up to them announcing the award, like we were bantering back and forth the whole time. And anybody could have seen us doing that, even if you don't know, you know, if you don't know who we are. But (laughs) Scott flipping me off, like really pissed this dude off. (laughs) He was like, you're so disrespectful. Yeah. So, oh, well, you know, shit like that happens. But then we also did run into this as we were standing on the side of the stage waiting for something else. Uh, There was a woman that was standing next to us and we were talking to her and she was just so tickled pink by the two of us. She's like, oh, my God. She's like, I could just listen to you guys talk all night. And we're like, oh, well, here we have a podcast. You should check it out. You should watch us. She's not in here. She could be in here, but she might be. She's just being quiet. But yeah, yeah, apparently we had really good banter back and forth and we were we were literally just hanging out talking <laughs> so i don't i don't even know what what we were even talking about but yes. apparently it was good she some random lady was listening to us yeah see it, that's the thing is like we as you everyone sees us on the show we are exactly the same when you see us like in person like it's we're constantly like nagging on each other picking on each other throwing stupid comments at each other like telling each other to shut up or their face is stupid and pretty much that's that's the extent of you know all of our conversations whaler goat category needs to happen well i don't there's not very many whaler goat guys i mean other than chicken bread and yep romantic justin i mean i can't really think of too many whaler guys you should shave your mustache off and then you can go into the whaler goat category with mr uh romantic justin and shannon chicken bread and we also, yeah, we did get, we spent the majority of the day with Corey, which that was yeah. actually a that lot was awesome. of fun too. Yeah, we had yeah, he's a, he's a good, good him. freaking dude. So apparently we were hilarious when we were lined up as well. Okay, no I idea what, probably talking shit to you back then too, telling you how I was going to beat you. Probably. And then you didn't. Remember that? No. Oh, here, hold on. There, there we go. Oh. <sighs> Remember that? Nope. Never seen it before. Oh, it's right here. Oh. What up? Yeah, yeah. So so Natalie, Natalie, uh, yeah, the the, the oh. talking beard sponsor board. That's pretty cool. 
Um, and uh, what else? Uh, uh, yeah, Natalie got third place. Yeah, Andrew got first. We had a wonderful night, and then we came home and ate 635 grilled cheese sandwiches. Uh, dude, those, those are pretty much the best grilled cheese sandwiches I've ever had. So That's maybe um, the key to grilled cheese sandwiches is freeze your bread. Yep. Apparently. Use frozen bread when you're <laughs> grilling cheese because, uh, yep. But that was it. Uh, we had a extremely good time, and it was nice to get out and have a normal weekend so yeah club home. yeah so talking beers the club went home with eight skate decks yeah so uh we ended up with the beer team usa skate deck and the austin facial hair club skate decks that we will be shipping off to brian t nelson and uh that's craig t nelson same thing they're yeah. brothers um and then yeah what else oh we got uh christina aguilera's just one deck and then all, all of the winning decks as well. So yeah, we, we had a car load of skate decks. So it was a good thing that we bought that new car and we had plenty of room for skate decks, baby Yoda stuff and a car park trophy and chili, Ohio, and Ohio chili. God, <laughs> but most importantly, baby Yoda. So yeah, that was, that was pretty much the extent of our weekend. We have 11 minutes left. Would you like to get into the BS buttons, beard, bolts and board? Oh, I might. Because we have a a not breaking news, but we have news in there. Well, okay. I just want to make sure. Oh, hey. Oh, hey. Best of show from uh, Mad Vikings Monster Ball in the house. Yeah, it was nice. Yeah, we hung out a lot and talked a lot with Israel, too, which was really cool. And then Michelle Romantic was telling us how she was from Canada and how she knew Andrew because he's also from Canada. But we couldn't really understand what she was saying because her head was just like flopping so much because she's Canadian. That's what Canadians heads do. They flop. All right. So now is the time for the BS Button Beard Bulletin Board. Now, this is a place for everyone that's in the chat or anyone that's listening to the podcast can go and post anything you guys would like that you would like to share. Anything. Anything anything you can get to it by going through our facebook page if you go to our facebook page talking beards uh underneath our header there is a button that says visit group or you can just type in bs button beard bulletin board you can you can google search it it'll come up but how many times are you going to post that up there there's natalie keep putting it up there yeah it's it's natalie it's definitely not me (laughs) (laughs) nothing um but anyways, yeah, so if you have anything you guys want to post on the BS Button Beard Bulletin Board, please go over there and do so. You can post about a competition that's coming up or if you're uh, <laughs> or uh, if you guys are doing some sort of a uh, fun charity event or if you're like doing dog grooming for homeless cats. I mean, whatever, <laughs> whatever cool. you put it up there and we'll talk about it. We'll talk about it. So. So, all right, so let's dive into the BS Button Beard Bulletin Board. So, the first thing up is uh, Sean Glander. Trying to make it bigger. Hold oh, on. wow, this is new. I didn't yeah. even see this. Yeah, so Sean Glander with uh, the, uh, look at this. Keep going. Oh, my. Oh, yeah. So Sean Glander was uh, one of the first people to get the OG uh, Talking Beards box there in the middle. And uh, back when we had that logo, and apparently I put them on the left. But now I do it like this. I don't know. There, there's no rhyme or reason to why I do most things. Um, but yeah, he uh, he just got his brand new the box in the mail. And it had a poop knife in it. So yeah, congratulations, Mr. Sean Glander. And anybody home? Hey, the doctor herbalist is here. And uh, yeah, we are home. We're here. Uh, yeah. So congratulations, Mr. Glander. You won that through uh, the Beards for Maddie beard competition. Um, this is a uh, Mad Viking Beard Club of Florida will be taking pre-orders for the following items. Uh, 25 units for uh, the shirts. Uh, if you uh, want to find out more about it, 
uh, hit up Patrick Crayons White. He's in the room right now. You can talk to him or you can message him. Tisha requests that you refresh the page. Oh, my gosh. Don't mess it up. Oh, see, look at this. Oh, look at that. <gasps> Whoa. Oh. What is bum, that? Bum, bum. Potential exposure to copyright infringement confirmed with experts in the industry. Chopped craft beards is now craft whisker battle. This will now match our craft whisker club wording. It also includes the naming of a previous battles in the new name. Look for modified logo in the upcoming events. <gasps> well, there you go. Breaking news. Right there. So, so. Make sure that you turn it, tune in next Tuesday on the Craft Whisker Club page for the Craft Whisker Battle. I like it. Those are some. Those are some good names. Good, I think. Good. Good changes. Good changes. That's next Monday, not next Tuesday. Sean Glender in the boxes, Mad Viking in their shirts, and come on, Brett. Look at this mass amount of stuff that he got for the Beards for Maddie competition. I mean, he's got the box. He actually won two of the boxes in the past several months. Wow. But this was just the Beards for Maddie load he got. So, yeah, he got some mugs. He got uh, uh, the box that went on uh, on raffle at like 1.30 in the morning. And Brett bought all 30 spots. So no one else even got a shot at uh, the box number two um, that was loaded with a poop knife and all all the usual honest Amish goodies. Um, he's got some FHL stuff, some patches and stickers. Um, what else? What all is there? He got a Beards for Matty shirt. Uh, Brett is running down Andrew Matson with his Talking Beards uh, swag. He he is uh, he has more Talking Beards shirts than I do easily. And uh, you remember this? Oh, 10 years ago. I do not. I wasn't around 10 years ago. Um, but yeah, tons of stuff, patches. And he, he thought those mugs were a lot bigger, but they're like shot glass mugs. Yeah, he said he needed that poop knife, which he could oh just Oh my gosh, I can vouch for him. Originalpoopknife.com. He definitely he needs that originalpoopknife.com, and he uses it all the time, like pff, all the time. This Thank you. Crazy. Come on, Brett. Come on, Brett. What is this? This is it. This what are you is looking at? Are you looking at the Talking Beards logo right there? I am. I'm like, look at that logo. Thing looks so good. That's what I'm doing. Yeah, so... Here it is. This is the big uh, breaking news, and I will read it as it was written. So, yeah, I'm going to the Central Texas Beard and Mustache Club first annual Beard of Palooza. That's coming up November 17th. It's in Nolansville. No, Nolanville, Texas, not Nolans. Nolanville, Texas. It's uh, somewhere between Dallas and Austin. So, yeah, I am going to be emceeing this event. It uh it says this might be the first time emceeing a live beer competition, but he's no stranger behind the mic. He has emceed two online competitions using the FHL app and has been co-hosting Talking Beards with his pal Scott C. Sakura for almost 100 episodes. Uh, not only does he do talk beards every Tuesday at eight o'clock Eastern on Facebook Live, he has built a pretty impressive competitive bearding resume as well. He has been competing since 2014, even won the 2017 World Beard and Mustache Championship in the goatee category. He is currently the president of the Holy City Beard and Mustache Society and a proud member of the team Honest Amish. Uh, when he isn't bearding, he is busy making TikTok videos, being Natalie's husband and a dad of three kitties and looking at welds at the local nuclear power plant. So, yeah, if you are in the Nolanville, Texas area, uh, mid-November, I'm going to do my best to not screw this up. Because You'll be fine. I've taught uh, you everything I know. Yeah, well, I'm going to do my best. It's FHL, so I'll have all the uh, information and all that good stuff. And Shannon Chicken Bread, 
will be at the butt of most of my jokes because he is a judge. Him and Monty Mentor are two of the judges, and I couldn't think of, yeah, and yeah, but I wouldn't think of uh, two of the most favorite people to make fun of besides Scott Sakura, and they will they'll be there. So speaking they'll, of Monty, today is his birthday. So happy birthday, happy Monty. birthday, Monty! And Monica Morales will be the other judge, but I won't be making fun of her. I'll just be making fun of the other two. Look at this. Look at Alex posting. So, uh, yeah, I'll be uh, emceeing a live beer company. Read your thing again because it was so captivating. Okay, I'll read it again. Hold on. No, stop it. I'm muting you. Oh, don't mute me. What is this? This is the pre party. Oh. Oh, so it's November 14th, not the 17th. I apologize. Don't show up on November 17th because. It'll be over. So, yeah, it's the 14th. Day after my birthday. Well, you should go here. Hemp oil is good for the beard. Well, thank you. I will. Uh, yeah, I think. Uh, no, he used CBD oil. I was thinking of uh, Patrick's oil, but it wasn't oh, hemp yes. oil. It was CBD. But, yeah, this is the pre-party for uh, Beard of Palooza. So, check it out and head down there to Nolanville, Texas. Okay, ha. Teha, keep going. Hello, Palote. We'd yeah, like so we've everyone involved in getting this competition together and everyone that took the time to vote for him. It's such an honor to have been part of this awesome cause. So this was for the uh Beards for Maddie. This is the prize that he won for the first place in under four inch full beard. Yeah, it's been it's been really cool seeing all these uh packages and trophy pictures getting posted from all over the world like it's it's really really cool i'm glad that the packages went out so quickly and everyone is thoroughly enjoying them Corey, no come on Corey, come on down i'd like to but all right tell us a little bit about the uh the all right so the beard mob uh mob ladies wonder whiskers one online competition is when yes so when is it, it is uh saturday november 7th it says it's at 10 a.m central standard time i don't know if that's the accurate time but potentially it is that's 11 o'clock eastern uh phil says open sign up for our mob ladies presents wonder whiskers one online competition entry fee is ten dollars for one category and any donation for any extra categories you would like to enter Please PayPal via friends and family to that address. Um, yeah. Click on the link and there's, there's all kinds of good information on here. But yeah, it's going to be another online beard competition, November 7th. So check it out and uh, yeah, go go participate. Look at this beard mail from uh, uh, Rob Humphrey. God, look at that. Oh, yeah. So this was one of our winners of the box from the uh, Family Feud. Uh, oh, my gosh. Working oh, class God. beards and dames uh, family feud competition that they took place. I don't know. September 26th, I think something like that. Yeah, we uh, we sent a the box to all five winners of that uh, competition. So congratulations. You are one of the winners of that family feud and, yeah, and you got to keep your family feud. You got to keep your eyes peeled for these, the boxes at events, because uh, I'm, I'm having a feeling that there's going to be more things that are going to be added to the boxes, um, which was going to make the value of them go well into the hundreds of thousand dollar value. Oh yeah. These are, these things are going to be so expensive. So expensive. Michelle and Tammy Lynn will be in Nolanville. Look at that. Who's got them zombie dad jokes? I do ask me. Speaking of jokes. Uh Uh-oh. How can you tell when uh, my little pony is sick? I don't know, Aaron. How can I tell when my little pony is sick? It's a little horse. And I'm going to tell you one more time. Ponies and horses are not the same. How can you tell when my little pony is sick? It's a little horse. You get it? 
No. Oh. I got one for you. Okay, go ahead. When is a dentist's favorite time of day? Noon. Almost. Tooth hurdy. <laughs> That's not a real time. How about this one? He goes to the horse patrol. That doesn't make any sense. That's okay. not a that's not that's not a real thing. Oh. Oh, chicken bread. See, Michelle like that one, tooth hurdy. Oh, here we go. Fontenot goes, How do you keep a goatee in suspense? How do you keep a goatee in suspense? I bet he doesn't say anything. I know. That's gonna be my guess. Look at these two boners. Look at these two boners. Yeah, so uh if you go to the uh, Central Texas Beard and Mustache Club page or the event page, or you go to BS Button's Beard Bulletin Board, you can donate to their cause, to their charity, and these two boneheads will be wearing a Speedo at the competition. So uh, help them reach their goal so we can get them in Speedos. And if you do get a chance, go to the Central Texas Beard and Mustache Club's uh, page on Thursday nights at 7 p.m. Central to watch these two guys. I I honestly, like, I really enjoy watching them. They are really funny. Their show mm-hmm. is really great. They, I, I definitely recommend it. Me too. There it is. Ooh. There you go. In case you missed it a while back, Monty Minter is our last bearded community judge. Did you see that? So, look, at, look at that. Look, that button he has right there on his shoulder. It's your oh, look at that. face. That's, that's me. Oh, and then there's a bunch of chicken breads on there. Oh, Those wow. are stupid. There's more chicken breads than there's a crystal one on there I can see. Wow. Oh, a Mrs. Chicken Bread one right there in the middle. It's one four. I gotta go. Okay. And that's how that was this. That, so that was, was the last one. So yeah, we are done. We are done with the uh BS button beard bulletin board. So thank D-N-Done. you. And done. Yeah, so I am Aaron D. Johnston. Thank you for watching Talking Beards tonight. Uh hopefully you enjoyed it. Uh, we didn't really have a guest, but we can we can fill time by just talking. So yeah, we uh we, we talked about going to uh, Monsters Ball, and I appreciate everybody. No, I will not. He will. Definitely. I will definitely not be doing that. Um, so, yeah. Thank you for tuning in, and that's it. Uh, this podcast will be released in the next four to six weeks. And uh, if you're listening to the podcast, this is happening right now. This is not recorded at all. So, yeah, that's it. I'm Aaron D. Johnston. Thank you for tuning in and see y'all next week. And Scott. I am Scott Sakura. Uh, you had me thinking. C. About Sakura. That. Scott C. Sakura for cookies because they're good enough for me. Uh, <laughs> you can find me once again on Facebook and or Instagram, uh, Twitter, wherever, wherever you choose to. Um, I will get back to you. Probably not very good on any of those, but uh, you can email us at talkingbeards1 at gmail.com if you feel like reaching out to us. Or we suggest that you go to uh, talkingbeards.com. There you can watch the show uh, old episodes. Uh, you can subscribe to the podcast. Uh, you can do lots of different things over there. You can buy some merch, which we highly suggest. Um, if not, that's, you know, whatever. But make sure you tune in every Tuesday night. We will be live on. Uh, we Okay, so tonight we're live on Facebook. We're on Twitter. We're on Twitter, we are on Twitch, and we are on YouTube. So you can watch us live at any of those places, and we will be glad to entertain you. And uh, that's all we got for you for this week. And uh, next week, who knows what's going to happen. It could be way better than this one. Tune in next week and find out, and then we'll all know together. Yes, we will. It will be super exciting. So thank you, everyone, for tuning in. We hope to see you again soon, and we greatly appreciate you. And thank you to everyone that we we uh, met this. You can put that back up. Go ahead. Um, thank you to everyone that we met uh, this past weekend at uh, the Monsters Ball. And uh, yeah, so, so many great people. And uh, cool. Thank you guys very much. Thank you very much. Everybody have a great night. Bye. Okay, bye. Bye. We hope you enjoyed this week's episode of the Talking Beards podcast. 
You can find out more information by going to talkingbeards.com. There you can subscribe to the podcast, make a donation to our show, or pick up some really cool Talking Beards merchandise. We hope to see you in the chat room. You can find us over at facebook.com slash talkingbeards if you want to participate in our chat. Thank you again for checking the show out, and we hope you have a great week. Make sure you come back next week at 8 p.m. on Tuesday evening to watch the show live. Until next time, thanks. Thanks.